So now we discuss the uses of this Foley's catheter in obs and gynae. So in obstetrics, what are the uses? We can use them in second trimester MTPs when we do intra or extra amniotic infusion of saline. Okay, and that leads to an MTP. We can also use it for induction of labor, especially in women who have a previous scar on the uterus. You can use them for induction of labor. Also in atonic PPH, we use them. Why? We can use them in several ways. One is to catheterize the bladder that empties the bladder and the uterus helps the uterus to contract better also helps us monitor the urine output we can also fashion it into a condom catheter which causes a tamponade inside and stops the bleeding also in first trimester when there's a retroverted uterus when there's a, the patient may, may come in retention of urine so we catheterize the patient during cesarean sections we catheterize the patient to keep the bladder away from the lower uterine segment so we can visualize the uterus better and it avoids injury to the bladder in obstructed labor we keep the catheter for prolonged time for around two to three weeks to avoid bladder necrosis as there is continuous drainage of urine in gynae where do we use a foley's catheter in gynae we can use it in place of a leach wilkinson cannula if you don't have a leach wilkinson you can use a pediatrics foley's number eight to inject the dye when doing a hsg also following an asherman syndrome you can use the foley's uh, inflated with 3 to 5 ml the bulb uh, with with saline or uh, water and that will prevent re-adhesions from forming so these are the uses in obs and gynae